Who has a question? Okay, I'll start. <laughs> well, I want to thank you because as an older person myself, I am now promised to, to, uh, to never shower again. And my wife is up there. She's probably glad to hear that. But uh, on to a question. So evolutionary biology is always interested in sort of alternative strategies, ways of getting the same thing done. And you should choose the one that is sort of uh, less costly if possible. So that sounds like if granddad is annoying, we should just go out and get a skunk in the family. Uh, do you have, are you thinking of starting a business and selling skunks? Do you want me to ask, answer the question about skunks or about whether or not you should get one or which one? I, I'd say just your general reaction to skunks instead of granddad. Okay. Uh, back up to the microphone. Can I get my PowerPoint presentation back up? I have data. Oh, yes! I originally thought it was boring, but if you are truly interested, I can bring it up. Um, well, you see, as we grow... Oh, I'm sorry. You see, as we grow a lot older, you will notice that we begin to gray all over, and that wouldn't make sense unless we are somehow upgrading our mimicry. And when we get to that point when our children, are, when our grandchildren are actually getting older and don't need direct protection, usually administered by hugs, which is, explains that, um, you'll notice that we get a full head of hair and that we begin to wrinkle even more. And it's interesting to point out that the honey badger is found in the exact same range. Now then, you see, the large amount of wrinkling allows them to, when they're attacked by a predator, to suddenly twist around and move so that they can't get a lethal bite onto them so quickly. And most importantly, though, they begin to develop these just not caring and just taking what they want so that <laughs> our, <laughs> our grandparents and that's why they get more annoying. They have that attitude. They would be more bold in confronting these predators and better deter them, even though we not, because our children are much larger and meatier, we need a more aggressive method of deterring these predators. So we have to upgrade a little bit. However, I don't have enough data to say for sure, which is why I didn't put this in originally, because, you know, I don't want to go ahead and present anything without backup. Uh, but take it at its face value. We have time for one more question. Okay. Um, so do you have any evidence that old people's homes kind of act as like a super sentinel to kind of <laughs> really help as a place well, This is a relatively this? recent creation by humans, and this hasn't led to a lot of time for this to really transform anything from an evolutionary standpoint. However, it's interesting from a social phenomenon because you'll notice that we tend to put, um, uh, put these elder care homes in areas that we never really want to go to, <laughs> such as areas with um, uh, a lot of scary things, predators, really, really high cost of living, and, other, and places that we don't want to go to. We want them to protect us from them. It's a kind of psychological leftover from evolution. 